Hi friends, today I'll make Mangalore bhaji for you all. So I need a, a cup of about 250 grams of maida, one cup of curd, a little of baking soda. This is salt, two spoons of uh, rice flour, and sugar. And then I have here chopped onions, chopped coriander chopped chilies, grated coconut, a spoon of jeera, some chopped ginger and chopped curry leaves. So we can take a big bowl and transfer the maida into it. Now I will add a teaspoon of baking soda to the maida. This helps the maida to rise when it is mixed as a dough. I'll add 2 teaspoons of rice flour. I'll add some sugar. I will add uh, Himalayan pink salt as much required. Now I'll mix everything properly and then add a cup of curd. Mix it very nicely again. Now I'll transfer all these ingredients into this bowl. I'll add grated coconut, coriander, the chilies, the grated onions. Everything should be finely grated. Ginger, curry leaves and the jeera. Everything gets transferred into this bowl and then again mix well. It is ready. Now we can keep it for some time, uh, at least a minimum of half an hour. I'll close it. I have heated the pan. Now I'll add some cooking oil. The mixture was kept for about uh, half an hour. Now I will take small portions of them and fry it in the oil. The mango bhaji is ready. Now I'll make some tasty chutney for the bhajis. I'll add some coconut, 2 to 3 two teaspoons of it, 2 green chilies, salt as much required, and a bit of coriander leaves. I'll also add some 2 teaspoons of fried gram. Grind everything to a paste. So friends, the mango veggie is ready. See how crispy it is. So let me now dip it in the chutney and have it. So I hope you liked my instant tea time snack please subscribe my channel take care bye